Sacred Heart High School, 5th Standard English. Dear students, in today's time, the pace of life is very fast. There are never enough hours in the day, are there? We all juggle between work, studies, family and social life, which makes our day-to-day -day lives pretty hectic. However, we must learn to have a some sort of a balanced life. There are a lot of positive effects of nature on our mental well-being. Just a walk in the woods or a stroll by the beach on a sunny morning can give us the innermost feelings of happiness and peace. So keeping this in mind, let's begin with Unit 3, Poem 17, On the Water. The poem On the Water describes the wonders of nature that one gets to see while taking a short trip in the boat. The poet is trying to tell us that we should take out some time from our busy schedule and enjoy the wonders of nature. Now, I will read the poem as per the stanza and then explain it. In the little boat to glide, on the water blue and wide, while the sky is smooth and bright, what could give us more delight? The poet is describing the scene as he's moving along slowly in his boat on a wide blue stream. The sky is smooth and bright and the poet asks the question, what could give more delight than this? Delight means happiness or joy. The next stanza. See the ripples, how they run, twinkling brightly in the sun. While reflected, we can see shadows of each hill and tree. The poet asks us to observe the way the ripples in the water move quickly, twinkling brightly in the sun. He says that he can see the shadow of each hill and tree reflected in the water. Ripples means a movement in the surface of a liquid and twinkling means shining. The next stanza, see the lilies round and large floating near the reedy marge where the bulrush has its place and the heavy water maze. In this stanza, the poet is telling us that there are large and round lilies near the edge of the water where tall grasses grow and where you can see grass-like plants like bulrush and the water maze. Lilies are the white flowers. Reedy marge means the tall thick grass that grows at the edge of the water. And bulrush and water maize has the same meaning. That is grass-like plants grown in the wetland areas. Now, the next stanza, see the great green dragonfly and the swallow skimming by, see the fishes spring and gleam as they splash into the stream. Here, the word E-R-E -E is pronounced as a, that means before. Swallow means a small migratory bird. Skimming means to glide or to pass near the surface. Spring means to jump. Gleam means to shine or to glitter. And stream means a small river wherein the water keeps on moving. Now, in this stanza, the poet 
can see a big green dragonfly and a small bird, the swallow, go quickly by. He can also see the fish that spring out their bodies reflecting the sunlight before they jump with a splash into the stream. Now, the last stanza. See the bright kingfisher too, dart a gleam of green and blue. These are all around our boat, on the water whilst we float. Kingfisher is a small bird. Dart means moving suddenly and rapidly. And whilst means while. So in the last stanza, the poet can see a bright kingfisher, which is green and blue in color. And the bird is also darting here and there. All these insects, birds and plants are around the poet's boat, which is floating on the water. And further, the poet is telling us to enjoy the flora and fauna while taking a short trip in the boat. Thank you.